Hi, my name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. And today I am so excited to tell you about a brand new picture book, Pluto Gets the Call by Adam Rex and Lori Keller. Are you ready? Let's go. There are times in our life where we get the call and maybe that call is something exciting like we have won the Newberry Medal, or an illustrator has won the Call the Cop Medal, or maybe you learn that your child is having a kid and you're going to be a grandparent. There are wonderful calls to get in this world, and sometimes, not to make light of it, there are times in this world where we get a sad call. Maybe there has been an accident, um, maybe something else has happened to a loved one in our lives. So, so when you see on the cover of a book, gets the call, you are instantly just curious if this is one of those Newberry winning calls or one of those tragedy calls. And uh, I think that this book does an amazing job of taking something as complicated as planets and what makes something a planet and what the heck is Pluto? Is it a planet or not a planet? I can't even keep it straight. Uh, this book does an amazing job of breaking it down with all kinds of interesting facts and so much humor. They take this very, what I felt was a very confusing topic and they make it in a way that is easily digestible for 38 year old men, as well as 10, eight, six year old kids. Uh, Pluto Gets a Call is an amazing book about the planet Pluto. And in this book, Pluto Gets the Call where Pluto is informed that it is no longer a planet. And it's devastated, it's heartbroken, its whole identity is called into question. And does it even matter anymore? Uh, and it kind of gets a chance to visit all of the other planets. It's kind of bouncing around the solar system, I guess, and talking with all of the other planets and you kind of learn what makes them planets. And at the same time, you learn why Pluto isn't a planet. You also learn like what why it used to be a planet and what it has that makes it a planet, but also why it's not a planet. And I learned so much. I read this to two of my classes. I was just so excited by the time I got to my second class because I loved it so much with my first class. And I just couldn't wait to see them just experience this magnificent book and just to see their minds completely blown off the top of their heads. So yeah, you need the book. Pluto Gets the Call by Adam Rex and Lori Keller. Adam Rex is so brilliant. And like, I don't know why I didn't just realize how perfect of a pair Adam and Lori would be because Lori's art and her sense of humor and how she uses every part of the page and how you can read her book so many different ways, like putting Adam and Lori together was brilliant. I don't know whose idea it was, but they deserve, whoever that is at Simon & Schuster, they deserve a raise. So. Simon Schuster, give that person a raise because they are brilliant. And maybe Adam and Lori came to it together. So in that case, good job, Adam and Lori. But anyways, I'm off topic. You need to read this book. It's magnificent, it's magical, it's funny. It works as a wonderful read aloud. Kids will read it and then want to read it again and again and again. Pluto gets a call, read it, buy it, gift it for a gift. You won't regret it. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Colby Sharp. Have an awesome-tastic day.